What's going on, family? What's going on? Want to come back on today, guys, and share this message with you guys. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is doing great. I got a great message I want to share with you guys today. I think this is going to be pretty powerful. Um, I think that the children of God need to hear this message. Guys, if you haven't, like I always say, make sure you subscribe to the channel. What subscribing does is it helps the channel grow and it helps this message reach the world to help other people. So it's other people other than yourself that may need to hear this message. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're liking the channel. Make sure you're commenting on the channel because it helps the channel grow. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and um, it, it, it notifies you when, when I make videos too. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I want to talk about today the Archangel Michael. The Archangel Michael, our, our divine protector. Michael is a is an archangel. He's an angel of God. Um, and the name Michael, um, it means he who is as God. It's he who is as God. This is this is what Michael means. The Archangel Michael, he who is as God. Um, he's a he's a warrior. He's a, he's he's still he actually is the leader of the of the army of God, and uh, I made a couple videos about angels, guys. So make sure you go back and look at my past videos about angels. The archangel Michael is only mentioned six times in the Bible. He's only mentioned six times in the Bible. He is the divine protector of God's people. That's why I keep going over go over with you guys of how powerful these angels really are. And it, they're, they're ranked. There are different ranks of angels in the Bible. And, and, and Michael is the, is the chief. The Bible calls him the chief prince of the angels. Which means he's the, the, the divine protector of God's people. Um, he's only mentioned six times in the Bible. And there's other Bible, there's other um, books that talks more about him. But we're going to go over a couple of scriptures today. And it starts with him in the book of Daniel. Like I said, God, guys, this, 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 this page is all about the Bible. So I thought that this would be a very interesting uh, interesting um, subject to talk about, the Archangel Michael. Um, I'm going to start here in the book of Daniel. And it starts talking about Michael, uh, I think, over here in verse 13. Um, yeah, I'm going to read this here. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 10. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twelve days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Basically, this is a, a angel coming to Daniel, talking to him, telling him. Daniel prayed a, prayed a prayer to hear from God. Uh, and this is an angel coming to him, saying that he would have been there sooner if he, if he wasn't. There was a war going on to stop the angel from even coming to see Daniel. And this angel had to call on Michael, which is the chief prince, which is the chief angel, to come and help him fight this battle that he couldn't get through because th there was a there was there was demonic forces stopping him, was fighting him to get through to, to Daniel. So he had to call on Michael to, to even get through. That's how powerful these angels are. Especially this archangel Michael. It's powerful. Powerful. You're talking about the same angel that threw Lucifer out of heaven. We're gonna to get to that in a, in, a, in, 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 in later on. This is the same angel that, that that threw Lucifer and those bad angels out of heaven. He's the chief prince angel. He's the he is as God. That's what the Bible says. He is the chief prince. So this angel called on Michael to help him fight the battle, and this this angel got through to Daniel because we know who won. We know that Michael. And this angel kicked butt, and he was able to come and see Daniel. And this angel also said that I would have been here sooner if I would have been withstood, you know, in, in the spirit. So he said he had, he had to call on the, uh, the archangel Michael to help him. And also says down here in verse 20, uh, if, if you go down in this, uh, I think it's chapter 10, don't need that by. Hold on. Yeah, down here, if you go down a couple of scriptures, it talks about Michael again. Uh, this is, I'm going to start at verse 20. And then said he knows that with four I come unto thee, and now I will return to fight with the prince of Persia. 
which means this angel said, I'm going, I'm going back to the spirit to, to finish this battle while I was, I was battling. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of, of, of Grisha shall come. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth, and there is none that hold it with me in these things, but Michael, your prince. So this is the angels telling Daniel that I got to go back and uh, finish this battle that I was fighting. But I sent message from Michael, your prince. So this is the angel saying that Michael, he called Michael uh, Daniel Prince. So this this archangel Michael, who I'm talking about, he's a pretty, he's a pretty powerful guy, guys. He was created by God himself. He was actually created by God himself. And it says that he, the name Michael is, he who is as God. He's powerful. He's powerful. That's why I told you, God, the angels that is around us, that protect us, these just ain't, these just ain't gonna know my angels. These are warriors. Michael is a warrior. The chief warrior of heaven. He's the captain of the whole angel. He's the, he's the captain. He's, he's the one. So these just ain't no, you know, these guys are warriors. Uh, where, where was I? He's a divine protector. Um, uh, I think it's, uh, but yeah, I was like I was saying, the angel was putting Michael in a in a in a in a in a. In a he was he was he told Daniel that Michael is the prince. He this guy to, he basically told Daniel this this Michael is to be respected, not worshipped. We don't worship angels because angels are the ministers of they are they ministers to us. Angels are here to protect us, so we don't worship angels. We don't worship angels. Because they are here to protect us. We are the heirs of salvation. I will go on and on and give you guys a little bit more things about this. But we, we, we gonna judge. We gonna be judging the angels, the fallen angels that fell. We gonna judge them one day because God put us, put us, puts us, put us over angels. We supposed to be commanding angels. Hey, go look at my past video about activating and commanding angels. I made a video about that. How to activate and command your angel. Go look at my past video. But we are over angels. That's how powerful you are. But these are pretty powerful guys. You know, they they we gotta show them respect. We gotta show them respect. They're not to be worshipped. Because we don't worship nobody but God and Jesus Christ. You know, and, and our, our Lord and Savior. We don't worship angels. Angels are here too. Minister to the heirs of salvation. I am a son of God. They are here to protect me and, and do what I tell them to do. You know, if it, if it, if it, if it abide about this word, they are here to protect us and watch over us. So these are pretty powerful guys. You can also read more about the Archangel Michael over there in the book of Jude, uh, chapter 1, verse 9. You also can read about Archangel Michael in Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 through 8. And this is where they have a, it's a war. In Revelation, this is where it's a war going on in heaven where um, the archangel Michael kicked the other angel Lucifer out of heaven. We're going to go more about that in the other videos. But it talks about that, talks about that over there in the book of Revelation chapter uh, chapter 12, verse 7 through 8, of how Michael, the archangel Michael, kicked Lucifer and the fallen angels out of heaven. So this, this archangel Michael is a pretty powerful guy. In, in, but he's here to protect us and watch over us. That's how much power you got. That's why you, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be walking in fear upon this earth because you got you got you got guardian angels protecting you and watching over you every day. I just want to come on and share that with you guys uh, to, to clarify who you got watching over you. The archangel Michael is a divine protector. He also have other angels uh, posted. To watch over the heirs of salvation. To watch over God's people. I don't want to be too long-winded, guys. Um, let's just uh, continue to read our Bibles. I love you guys. Until next time, you guys be blessed. I'm signing out.